Now that you've been introduced to the concept of acceptance requirements, product classes, and soldering terminology, let's examine the acceptance criteria for Class II through-hole solder joints. The following examples will show the minimum and maximum acceptable dimensional and visual requirements for the three perspectives of the through-hole solder joint. The solder destination side, the plated through-hole or barrel, and the solder source side. Let's start by looking at the solder destination or primary side. The first parameter we'll examine is land coverage. The target solder connection will have a properly wetted fillet that covers 100% of the land and feathers out to a thin edge over the land area. It is allowable to have 0% land coverage on the solder destination side as long as all other minimum solder coverage requirements are met in the barrel and on the solder source side of the connection. The other parameter for the solder destination side of the solder joint has to do with excess solder. The maximum acceptable condition allows the solder to extend up into the lead bend area as long as it doesn't contact the component body, the end seal, or obscure the stress relief bend of the component lead. Here's what it looks like when the solder actually touches the component, causing a defect. Now let's examine the acceptance requirements for the barrel of the solder joint. The first requirement we'll examine is the vertical fill of solder inside the plated through hole. To evaluate this condition, you must look at the solder joint from both the solder destination and the solder source sides. While we've seen that the ideal or target connection has a slightly concave, cone-shaped fillet that rises from the outer edge of the land to the component lead, the solder joints you see every day may not always live up to this ideal. One common variation of the fillet's shape is a slight dip into the through hole before the fillet rises to the lead. This condition is especially common on the solder destination side of the board as gravity can cause the solder to sag slightly into the hole while the solder is in a liquid state. 